Right, YouTube, it's Shadow King King Nazu, and I'm back to get my thoughts on the Aquaman Comic Con trailer as well as the one for Shazam. So, let's start with the one with some uh, Shazams. I think I'll have more to talk about that than I will with Aquaman. So, uh, Shazam is basically about uh, how Billy Baxton's origin story and how he becomes Shazam. Uh,. Or back when, back when he be, back before they changed his name, his name was Captain Marvel. But they can't change that now because Miss Marvel is now known as Captain Marvel. And now, and we all know how I feel about what they've done to Miss Marvel lately. And it's part of the reason why I won't be seeing her movie, along with other reasons. Uh, but let's just focus on shit. Uh, the, Trailer starts off with Billy Paxton getting adopted and uh, starting to adjust to his new family. Um, you no know, mother, I mean a mother and father, and a brother who is apparently crippled. And he just tries to adjust to his new life, and then he sees that a uh, kid is picked on, getting picked on uh, by a bunch of bullies. Well, let's just hope they're not as one-dimensional and psychotic as the ones from It, or any other Stephen King, King movie or book. Seriously, can he not invent any bully with any form of humanity? Uh, but, uh, but they end up starting to chase him. But he luckily he gets away in the subway station, and then he starts to get, uh. See some strange things happen, and he hears a voice tell him to call out his name. And he meets this old man who's apparently a wizard, or some very other supernatural per person. And he tells him to say his name, Shazam. And which Billy Paxton does, and he becomes a, a taller, uh, mature, muscular version of himself. Uh, with the red cape, lightning on his chest, and a white... I mean, the red outfit, the lightning on the chest, and the white cape. And um, from there, it's basically a montage of him trying to understand his uh, superpowers, kind of like with the Amazing Spider-Man, which is kind of a thing I like, as that was nice, because it, cause it reminded me of that. And also, we'll have a little bit of a uh, good balance of, of the serious moments, along with the uh, levity. Uh, which is uh, DC is trying to do so uh, people won't feel that the DCU is too dark and too depressing. And you get to see things like him testing his super strength, uh, that he's bulletproof, uh, he can fly. Well, well, the first time he tries to fly, he doesn't really, really get it. He could just only like jump and hover for like a few seconds before he falls down and apparently hurts himself. I figure that that a person who could be on par with Superman would be a bit more durable that they can, you know, toler tolerate some, I mean, have, not feeling any pain against uh, being having to collide with a skate park or well, not a skate park, uh, a skateboard rail. Or whatever. And, um, it's basically, and we also got to see him stop a robbery, uh, but, and also get some free snacks. Uh, and that was basically, basically it. It's just, uh, showing that this is gonna be really lighthearted, which is fitting because, um, apparently, uh, Shazam is more of a boy scout than Superman. Uh, Oh no, I did think this was the right tone. It seems like we had it in a good direction. Um as for the villain, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be Black Adam. Or if not Black Adam, maybe some other villain that maybe they'll tease Black Adam. Um and I also want to know how this is going to play into the future of the DCU. Because um the next thing that they're trying to build up to is the Legion of Doom as of Justice League. Uh, so they might be trying to, to spare these villains and recruit them for the Legion of Doom. 
um, because well, so far we all we got for the Legion of Doom is uh, Lex Luthor and Deathstroke. So they'll probably recruit Black Adam and some other villains. Uh, so all in all, pretty good trailer. Um, next, uh, we talk about Aquaman. And it's basically, again, another story uh, talking about his past. So I'm assuming this movie is going to take place before Justice League. Uh, it's basically him uh, contemplating the fact that he doesn't feel like he belongs in either the human world or uh, the Atlantean world. But uh, that's mainly because uh, he his father was human while his mother, the Queen of Atlantis, was Atlantean. And it's basically going to be a book about him coming to terms with this and trying to bridge the gap between these worlds. And it, trying to become a better ruler. Now, if we've seen Justice League, um, I kind of... This guy seems like the bad boy type. Uh, he seems like he's still going through that arc where he's going to become, where he's trying to become a proper ruler. Uh, and as we saw for the villains, it, apparently it's going to be Ocean Master and Black Manta. So we, so it's basically uh, Ocean Master is, uh, if I recall, was the brother of Aquaman. So it's going to be somewhat similar to uh, Loki and Thor. Um, I mean, with some with their own very differences, but yeah, it's basically uh, brothers competing for the throne. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing that Black Manta is going to be like the secondary villain. Though again, I'm not sure which one's going to be part of the Legion of Doom. Though, if I were to guess, it could be it could be either or. Really, they I think they've both been on the Legion of Doom. Yeah, I could, could probably even be both of them. Um, but yeah, um, it does seem to have some pretty good action. Uh, CJ is good. Good. Um, I did like this. There was a little bit of exploration of it, exploration of Atlant, um, of Atlantis. Uh, but um, I'm gonna have to see more before I have to get my overall thoughts. Uh, overall, um, I think this was pretty good. So, um, yeah, I think that DC's starting to go, be in a good direction, and they made some good, uh, made some movies that I like, well, starting from Suicide Squad up into, like, Justice League. So, um, let's just hope that this tra train continues, and we'll actually have some more good movies. Now, um, I'm going to see if there's, like, any Marvel movies, uh, that we're showing at Comic Con that I could probably talk about, because uh, apparently there are some people that think I'm some DC fanboy, even though I've just shown that I've reviewed Marvel movies and said favorable things about them, just because I didn't wasn't all too impressed with some of their Phase Two and Phase Three movies doesn't mean I'm some DC fanboy. Try to learn th some more about me. Uh, but overall, I think that's all I got to say about these two trailers. And I'll catch you guys next time.